In previous portion of tutorials, we save files as PSD and HDR. So to process HDR, I'm going to use Photomatics Pro. Um, you can use it straight in Photoshop or you can use it in other applications that you prefer. But I'm kind of in my workflow, I'm using this application. Again, this is as example. Okay, we'll go to HDR. I'm going to drag and open this format. You can see saturation pop up. Don't worry about all these colors because it is not tone map it. What I want to do is click on the tone map it for our image. And you can see, notice right here, how much more details. Just look on these details in this area on the leaves. Um, some plants and the clouds in the atmospheres get it very dimensional and bring a lot of details out. We could also modify this if you we won't go over some of the settings because we can go look how they create and all this just overall i will use it some of the preset but showing you that how much information is stored in a view render even we don't see at that time so you can bring after even it's there still be so you can adjust like these clouds you almost cannot see in original ones if you remember but right here you can see similar like depth between plants. This is the reason why I like to use HDR as a sum of the layer and after compost. But be careful because with this HDR you can notice in some areas it's bring like grain right here. So it's create some of this contrast increase between some elements and will add a little bit more grain. So we need to be careful what we're using and how we're using as well and you know we can modify gamma which i want probably bring a little bit darker so some elements black and this is will work just as basic will work so i'm going to process this okay um increase a little bit on the sharpness and we'll go just save this image so this is all what we need to do in a tone mapping just bring some of those clouds that will mask in so let's go inside the photoshop okay in photoshop we're going to open our psd file and we're also going to drag on top and putting our hdr file um, sometimes photoshop showing it's smaller but i know it's exactly the same size so i'm just going and adjust okay. same one and you can see right here with HDR processing without. Of course, some elements like this shadow right here make a depth kind of disappearing, but I do like how appear clouds. So what I will going to do, it is enable the landscape tone map it and add mask to this. We'll go to this inverse control or command I to inverse this. Let's take a brush. Okay, I want to be sure my opacity set to 10, flow to 100. And let's make soft round and a little bit smaller. We don't need that big. So I'm using mouse. If you used Vicom pad, you can just sensitive pressure. But because I'm using the mouse, I want to set a small. Sometimes I even want to maybe even go lower, like five. So with each stroke, it will um, kind of slightly increasing. And you see right here where I do with the clouds. Look how the clouds come up. See those details? So again, strokes, just do those gentle strokes. And we add more. It's what I wanted. Sometimes I want a little bit more depth, more kind of on atmospheric cloud. And it's what does. So again, you can see how just like we're increasing some of this depth in our clouds. Okay, also, if you want, you can add a little bit to the plants. And because I know if you look, there was a little bit brighter. I want to take not some all plants, but I want some that is was highlighted. Add details to those plants. And maybe a little bit darker on this one. Again, if you need to increase, we can pop up a past to two. And so it's go just a little bit faster. And just add a little bit touch up on these plants. Again, this close up. I want where the highlights. I'll just increase highlights on some plants right here and make darker. And again, let's do a little bit more on this on the clouds. 
There you go. We don't need to go crazy, but again, this, as you can see before and after, just add a little bit more dimensions to our elements. Okay, um, next I like to add some curves, coloring curves, but again, it's all personal preferences. But if you want, you can follow this. So we'll go to create um, curve. We'll go switch this to the color type of the blending. We'll go to set the blue and I'm just use it scenic curve. It's what called. We'll take shadows pop up to the blue. You can see how shadows have the blue thin and drop just a little bit down. We'll go to the red, bring cyan down. You can make more warmer, almost like old for picture kind of create. And take this one and bring just matching curve. So we have just a little bit adjustment. Again, right here, not that a lot of kind of effect, not very strong effect, but again, if you like it. Um, we could add more HDR look to this image. Um, by increasing our blending mode with original landscape tone method. Or if you don't have this, you always can create or simulate one of them. So doing this, we select top layer, okay, or a command Alt Shift E. And uh, now we have a new layer. And this is layer, it's kind of combine all of the layers together. So next we're going image adjustment. We'll go switch to black and white for this layer. And right here you can bring some highlights. Remember, whatever is brighter, what we're going to do is we'll add stronger highlights. And if it's darker, it's make a little bit more darker. So we kind of we saturate. But this is nice because we can kind of simulate right here. I can play with the coloring. the elements to bring some of them brighter add this almost dimension even more painting so same right here let's go take this clouds there you go we'll click ok on this next um, we'll go to use a shadow and highlights i want to flatten a little bit this image so we'll go use it version and let's put it maybe about 15 pixels Okay, in this case, the tone, we can see if we want to bring a little bit darker. Again, because we're going to use a soft um, light, we want to do or make it darker or a little bit more all come flat. And so I will set it around here. Um, one thing, if you understand, I have some other tools so we can go over, but 50% gray, it's become invisible in view. So right here is our map we set. And right now, if we switch to the soft light, the 50% will disappear. But wherever it was darker, it will add more intensity and a brighter bring brighter. So you can see right here how this is with a shadow and highlights brought a little bit more dimension. Um, with draw with this, you can see how the fog is disappearing. Again, same things what you can do we've done before we can overall take a layer opacity and decreasing okay or you can also leave it opacity as you like it add another um masking layer and just using same as before and painting into our picture some of those elements where you want it so, for example, we go paint it right here, leave it the density in dark, but paint more inside here. So, again, where we have it, just a little bit enhancement. Again, I don't like sometimes have the very strong enhancement, but in this case, work. And our last step, let's go enable our curve. We'll go create another curve, take all the way down, and we'll do vignetting. So let's create from side. We'll go drag side to side. Next, we'll fill up this with a white color. So inside you can go edit, fill, and we can fill with a white, 100%. And it will just actually fill up. Okay, actually, I think it's black. Okay, let me say edit, fill, black. There you go. So we kind of remove this mask. Let's unselect, go to the curve. And right here we take feathers and we'll just start moving feather. And notice 
these edges how they become so it's creating this vignetting and I'll just set a little bit vignetting on this and switch mode to the soft light so you can see almost like burning edges uh, reason it is I like to do this it's give it this attention to the picture kind of move away from give it somewhat old look okay so right here's our image we created inside the view and just slightly retouch in Photoshop and thank you for watching these tutorials and please send your comments and tell me what you think or what other tutorials you want to see.